This is a day in the life of a seven-figure, 24-year-old entrepreneur living in Tulum, working remotely. You know we got to get up at 6 a.m., grind time. Mosquitoes. What's up guys? Johnny here. Sergio. We're Johnny and Sergio. We run a few different businesses that do over seven figures a year. Forgive me if I'm low energy right now. I just woke up, but this is going to be a day in the life of seven figure 24 year old entrepreneurs working remotely in Tulum. Let's go. Okay, so right now we're heading over to the gym, but before we do that, I've got to get some coffee. Little did we know that nothing in Tulum happens to be open until 8 a.m. So us waking up at 6, uh, we're in for rude awakening basically because we spent like 30 minutes here just walking around trying to find coffee because I needed some caffeine. But nonetheless, we didn't end up finding it. And so we said, screw it, let's go to the gym. One thing I don't like about Tulum is that the laziest construction workers, they got trees, they got trees in the middle of the roads here. Crazy. So if you guys can't tell, it's currently 6.30 in the morning, but it's so freaking hot and humid. So that's just Tulum. Now we're back, so it's 9 o'clock, getting some coffee, then we're going to film some content for you guys. And then after the content, we have our morning meeting at 9.30 with all the sales guys, so that should be fun. Now it's time for our morning sales meeting, typically they're at 7.30, but in Tulum we're two hours ahead, so it's 9.30, but nonetheless, we always have these morning meetings every single day, every single weekday, because we need to make sure the sales guys are pumped up. I lead the sales team, make sure they're firing on all cylinders, and the number one thing when it comes to sales is inner game and making sure your mind's right before the day, because if it's not, you're just not gonna close. We also have Sergio attend the first meeting. We have two sales meetings, typically one in the morning and one in the afternoon, midday, to do kind of a midday pump up, mock calls, do call reviews, and just make sure the sales guys are still firing on all cylinders throughout the whole day. Sergio joins the call as well. He heads the fulfillment side of things, the operations. It's cool for him to join because he likes to share student wins and that increases conviction in our sales guys. We also see Gino in here. Gino is kind of a hybrid role where he, he handles all the appointment setters and managing them while also heading up marketing and doing things like optimizing the funnels, the ads, things like that. These mosquitoes in Tulum are ridiculous. If you don't put this on, bug spray, you're gonna get eaten up. I got bites all over my feet, hands, on my face, but uh, the grind doesn't stop. It's one of the busiest times of the year, and even though we're working remotely in Tulum, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so we're just about wrapping up for the day, but we still have a round table to do for Home Service Academy. We have a guest speaker coming on tonight, this Google Ads expert, so we're really excited about it. Also, I have some exciting announcements, but maybe we'll make another video on that. Right now, we're gonna go eat some food. We're going to Funky Burrito, so let's go. So you're gonna see this super sick whip that we have rented. So, uh, the sickest whip. You know we only roll in luxury. Check this out.
weren't using subs, they had a huge payroll, and they needed to diversify really quickly, and they gave me an idea to do Christmas lights. I launched a quick campaign for them, 24 hours, no research, nothing. Uh, kind of just threw it together a landing page for them really quickly. Within a week, they had closed a massive condominium and like an elderly uh, living area, luxury um, elderly, elderly housing, and they made $300,000 in revenue. In a week, I went from literally not knowing what a mini LED light was to not to the week before Thanksgiving, I had over like $170,000 in contracts and I had no idea how I was going to fulfill it. We just finished up the round table, which best round table ever. You'll see the footage. Hopefully Jack got it. So, uh, Club Audible, you're going to get some ice cream. Let's go. yet hit the notification bell drop a comment down below if you want to see more day in the life vlogs we don't do too many vlogs so if you want to see more let me know in the comments let's get 50 likes and again subscribe we'll see you in the next one peace